Greetings, internet. Welcome back to the channel. I swear, whenever I start talking, like a taxi honks, and I'm like, awesome. Did I not just say? <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I think it's been pretty obvious recently, just in my content, in my general demeanor, that I have really grown in my confidence recently, in my self confidence, um, just as a whole, you know, in my body, but also just in myself and it's been really fun to track my progress with things and see you know what things I've been doing to make myself feel more confident because I definitely was in a rough place for some time and you know I even look back at videos that I filmed like 10 years ago like literally a decade ago where it's just it's just so sad to see how I just didn't really have faith in myself and I also just didn't really value myself. And a lot of my insecurities stemmed from the physical and how I looked in certain clothes and how I compared myself to other people and I'm really, really grateful for my growth in that area. And I think a lot of it has to do with my recent um, exercise journey, you know, getting stronger. I feel much stronger than I was two months ago and strength is everything. It just completely changes the game for me mentally, knowing that I am getting stronger, I'm getting fit, capable. You know, I always have this fear of lifting suitcases over my head, like so random, but like lifting suitcases over my head at the airport, like on the plane or on a train or whatever. Jeans are the least of my worries if I can lift a suitcase over my head, you know? But anyway, that being said, it's always easier to feel confident if you have clothes that you're really excited about, okay? Like clothes that you put on, you're like, yes, this is it, this is everything. And I found some pieces from Princess Polly that do just that. Let's get into it, but first let's take a little trip down memory lane. The third thing I hate are my hips. My big hips are really annoying because I can't wear like the skirts I want. I've been doing like exercises to try to like tone it, but it's not really working. No matter what I tell myself, no matter what pretty quotes I read on Pinterest, I am always just so darn insecure. And the other night I wore pants out at night to a fraternity party on my campus and I remember looking at myself in the mirror and being like, I look huge. I look huge. Like I cannot wear these out. My thighs are huge. My stomach, like, oh, I just can't. I'm disgusted. Like I'm disgusted with myself. You guys know how I feel about jeans. Like this is a whole sensitive subject for me within itself because I, for so many years of my life, lacked any sort of confidence when it came to wearing denim. I swore it off. I just decided that denim wouldn't work for me because I didn't have a certain type of body. Any sort of non-stretch jean just like didn't even fit up my, like I couldn't even get it over my thighs. Like I always struggled with denim and truly like when I find a pair of jeans that has a little bit of like, you know, looseness to it on the bottom, like it never fits up here. So I'm really grateful that these jeans not only fit comfortably, these jeans have restored my faith in inexpensive denim that fits. Like, I cannot tell you how grateful I am that these jeans exist. I wore these out to dinner the other night and I felt so confident. I wore them with little baby heels and I felt like a million bucks. And you know, it's not often that I feel like that. Like I have a really hard time when it comes to my body and clothes. Like look how good these look on my butt. Gotta say, wow. Plus you can sit in them. Like these have like pretty minimal stretch I would say, but you can sit in them comfortably. Like I'm literally comfortable right now. That doesn't always happen. If you guys have ever sat in a pair of like non-stretch jeans that like you have to unbutton, like you don't gotta do that with these. So I'm wearing a size eight, I believe. I'm usually either a size 29, 30, or an eight to 10, like in that range. A little close up of the closure here. It's really cool. So there's like a button here and like buttons in there too. So love these jeans. Also paired with this really funky top. Like this is definitely gonna be one of my like starter pack outfits. Like. Have you ever heard that like starter pack outfit where it's like something you wear all the time and your friends are like, okay, it's her starter pack outfit. I've always wanted to love denim. Like I love it on other people. Like whenever I ever helped someone pick out an outfit, I always gravitated towards them in denim because I just think there's so many things you can do with it and it can be dressed up or dressed down. Next on the list for me is trying out jean shorts. 
because I haven't worn jean shorts since I, like how old was I? Probably like, I think I still had like bangs. I don't even know. Yeah, I, I lost all confidence when I got to high school, like down the drain. It's really sad, honestly. Um, what happens to you when you grow up and you become aware of yourself and are you able to compare? Um, it's really sad. So anyway, it's never too late to decide that you want to love yourself, that you want to put in the work mentally and maybe physically, if that's something that will help you, um, to appreciate yourself in anything, in, in certain styles you thought you could never wear. So I'm gonna stop talking about the jeans now. Like These are like the jeans, okay? This is my summer jean. If you see me around the city, like if you just run into me, I will probably be wearing these jeans. <laughs> All right, coming in hot, we have another cute going out top. This one actually has a zipper on the side that you can zip into. I found that I just, I just threw it over my head and it worked too. I really like the like little baby straps, but they're super, they're stretchy, so they're like durable, but they like look really delicate and pretty. The top is opaque, but we have a translucent little ribbing situation down here. It looks really expensive, but I saw a bunch of different influencers wearing this and I was like, I am influenced. Consider me influenced. I love this shirt. You can tuck it in. I don't know, hike it up a little bit and have a little bit of skin exposed. Really like it. Here is the back of it. Green is just like my color I've decided for summer. I know I also said I like blue, but green is quickly becoming one of my colors. So this is definitely good for like chillier plans. So I love this top. It's definitely like a little bit looser, which I like because sometimes you don't want something like super, super tight. And I like the looser, it kind of looks like a little bit like 70s. Am I wrong? Maybe. But it feels like something like from a different time, you know? And it's just good if you have like cooler plans. Like if you have plans on the water somewhere or somewhere where it might get just breezy. Like if you're going on a date and you don't want to bring a jacket, but you know it's going to be a little bit cooler in like a restaurant or somewhere. But I really, really love this one as well. Looks really cute with the jeans. Everything looks cute with the jeans. We love the jeans. We are team jeans. I feel like I'm in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Like these are like the sister. If I had to like reinvent that today and we could all share jeans, it would be this pair, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't even think I showed you guys like the bottom of the jeans, like they're, can you see the bottom now? <laughs> they're like these uh, straight, they're straight um, in the bottom. So this is the cutest little set. It's two pieces, as you can see. It's a really good length and you can obviously like pull it up or down depending on how much you want to cover. I am always hesitant with like little mini skirts like this that it's not going to cover enough in the back, but this one really does. It's definitely fun, flirty, good for summertime in the city when it gets super hot or just anywhere when it gets super hot. I would definitely wear this with like sneakers or comfy sandals to the bar or to a picnic, something more wholesome. You can wear this like, you know, chilling in the park or something. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see the details. So I'm trying not to say it's so cute because I say that like every five seconds in a haul. So I'm trying to refrain. So I'm wearing a size eight on the bottom and I believe also the top, I'll double check, but it's a really, really cute pattern. Like, check that out. Um, I tighten the straps. The straps are adjustable, which is huge. I'll do a little twirl for you guys. You can see the full effect. Like, ooh, didn't see there. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, this is one of my favorites. So for a while, I really didn't think that blue was my color, but it's definitely growing on me. So I love this fit. It's so flattering. The fabric is really comfortable. You can move it like up or down depending like you want it to be a little bit lower in the back you can this is a comfortable position for me but i love how it looks with my hair color with a bit of a tan obviously it's fake the tan um, <laughs> but it looks really nice on and the fabric is really really comfortable it's like this um like ribbed but this way it's vertical rib this is really just truly very saucy you guys know i love using the word saucy <laughs> to describe dresses and this is this is one okay like if i wore this outside right now i wonder i wonder what would happen i think i would turn some heads i feel really really confident in this dress um it's just really comfortable i guess if you wanted to wear spanx you definitely could I'm like just embracing my belly these days because I know 
I got some important organs in here and they take up space. Humans are supposed to have bellies, okay? Uh, that is my mantra. But yeah, love the dress. As you can see, it actually has a slit on the left side. So it's really, really cool. But I like how it has this like higher neckline in the front and in the back it has like a bit lower of a neckline. At first I thought I had it on backwards, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, it's not backwards. Whatever you call this, the V's on either side is so, so, so flattering, especially if you want to show off like your back a little bit, like it's really, really fun. So I love this little number from Princess Polly. So guys, that is it for the haul. Um, I do wanna say this dress that I'm wearing that I wore in the intro and now is also from Princess Polly. I guess I forgot to show this in the try on portion, but it's a really, really cute little summery dress. I'll have this one linked as well. But if you guys use my code, you can get an awesome deal on the website. So check out all the links in the description box below. I hope I influenced you to buy one or two things that you're gonna feel amazing in. And let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.